Welcome to Morpheus Chair, the program where you learn how to build robots like these from your comfy chairs. Welcome to this second video series of Morpheus Chair. Thanks a lot for the first video series support. Based on what you people uh, answered in the poll, which won like by a very big margin, the deep learning, we have decided to do something different. We have called a very special guest to co-host these programs with me. Let me introduce you to Vector. So with the help of Vector, we're going to learn about deep learning, like you people asked. So yeah, we are going to do a very special unboxing because we're not only going to unbox this little puppy, but also we're going to compare it to the original Cosmo. So I really love this robot. Um, I bought it, I, I don't know, the, the day that it went out for sale. So I really enjoyed it. This is, the video is not sponsored at all. It's just because we really love this kind of robot, especially I really love this kind of uh, Pixar-like robots. Maybe that's why a lot of the courses in Robot Ignite Academy that I've been involved in have used Mira robot, which is a really Pixar-like robot. Hmm, maybe to the unboxing table. So here we have him. So we're going to do the unboxing of first the vector and see what we have inside. And then we're going to compare it to the Cosmo stuff that we had inside and see uh, the differences and what we're going to work with the next few, uh, the next videos. So let's get started. So the first thing we need, our unboxing knife. There we go. So the box is quite neat. It's much more simpler than the original one. So let's have a look. Wow. You can see that by far what I'm seeing is that there's only one cube here. So you'll see afterwards that the original Cosmo had three cubes. This one just has one, which I suppose that for our intended purposes is more than enough. So we get Cosmo. Yeah. I thought that I wouldn't like the black color, but it's really, really nice. Yeah. So you can see it has, we, we will work with this camera here. So focus, there you go. So we, we will work with this camera that has much higher resolution than the original Cosmo. So great for that. Apart from that, and the hardware is more or less the same. It, we have four sensors on the bottom instead of one. So this will avoid that uh, vector goes backwards and falls, which was an issue in the original Cosmo. So great there. There we go. Now we have the stand. It's highly improved stand. And one of the best features is this one, which allows us to uh, find this, this picture very easily and out of dock. So Good work, Anki, for that. And then we have our standard USB plug, which the original worked exactly the same. Stuff. Some instructions, which we will read in the moment. So now we're going to compare it with the Cosmo, the original one. So there you go. The original one was a bigger box and you could see the robot from the start. I suppose 
for marketing reasons now vector and everyone knows and also it's uh, i suppose much cheaper to do a simple box like vector than this one which with the display it's really good for having there there you go so you you could just pop it off then you had some instructions like the the vector and then as you can see you had three cubes and this is something that I haven't seen which is the Anki power brick which is nice but I suppose the time being it's more than enough you just plug it and that's it if you're European you just have to buy one of these then you had three cubes which allows you to play better there you go and this is something that it has been improved a lot which is the base because it has also this that you could you could in theory do also vision and see it but I mean much better the, the vector one much better and the ramp you see that there's a ramp here really really curvy here which allows vector to to pull in very easily which in this one Cosmo was really difficult for not saying impossible yeah so great and then we have the start of the show which is Cosmo the original one so now we're going to compare we have both Cosmo and Vector very nice looking Vector also as you can see sensors we will work with Vector which has more sensors it has four while Cosmo has only one so the things that matter for us is how the grappling system which in Vector it's finer so we in theory it's optimized for that I don't know and Cosmo is much chunkier which I would think it's more robust but I don't know we'll see yeah. so you can see that Vector has bigger um, bigger treads which Cosmo doesn't which would make it better more robust there and that's it also the main change has been the camera which in Vector is much better so that's quite it and that's all for today in the next video we're going to learn how to set up Vector in a way that you can execute your own project and if we have time set up your computer so that you can execute ROS projects in it so stay tuned for that. Until then, keep building. Hey Vector. Hey Vector. Go home.
Hey, Victor. Come here. 